Tatum with Elevate Iowa, and today we're in Makokota, Iowa, visiting Jackson Manufacturing. So when I was researching your company, I saw plastic injection molding. Can you tell me more about that? Plastics really got their start all the way back to the 50s. From that point on, they, they start to basically take the place of metal parts. The good news about plastics, they don't rust. Sounds like you're doing great things here in Makokota. What would you say makes your organization so successful? The secret to our success is really in three items. Number one, the customers. We take very good care of our customers and they continue to give us their business and we've had customers going back 30 years. Second item is vendors. We have a very good vendor base. They get us the product at the right price and when we need it. Third item is the very hardworking, loyal employees I have here at Jackson. Tell me about your philosophy of ongoing training with your employees. I like to give the employees opportunities to learn on the job. And one of the things I found is, is uh, the local community college, NICC, has uh, two, three day classes that they can, they put together. with Mary Rupp. So I hear you're going to be our tour guide today, but before we get started, can you tell me a little bit more about these products on the table? Sure. These are adjustment knobs. They're our proprietary line of product here at Jackson Manufacturing. We have a variety of styles, sizes, and um, options for them. So tell me, what would some of these knobs be used for? Uh, you can find them on wheelchairs, telescopes, IV stands, they are on um, strollers. So I understand the knobs we just looked at are for Jackson Manufacturing, but what are all of these products? These are the products we make for companies that we partnership with. Um, these are actually wheel covers for race cars. These are golf course markers. They engrave these and then they paint them. So those you may see out on a golf course, they're for their sprinkler systems. Trinae, so tell me, what is it you do here at Jackson Manufacturing? I do a variety of different jobs. Today I'm working on the Sonic Welder. And how long have you been doing that? I've been here about a couple years now. What's your prior education or did you have any training coming into this job? Um, I went to Scott Community College in Bettendorf, but most of the training was actually on the job here. So when you think about all these parts that you make, what makes you most proud? The quality that goes into the products and the things that we create helps make somebody's house an actual home and when you walk in and you realize hey I helped create that that's a pretty good feeling. We had a great time seeing how everything was assembled but can we go see where it's made? Sure I'll hand it over to Jack and he can take you out on the floor and show you the production area. I'm out here on the manufacturing floor with Jack so Jack tell me how does this process all get started? Well, it starts with the resin. I'll grab a sample here. This material comes in a pellet form, and this is a natural nylon. In a lot of cases, we need to dry it, nylons especially, and they'll go into a dryer, uh, similar to your clothes dryer, take the moisture out, and then they will eventually be fed into the injection press to mold the plastic parts. So where does this go next in the process? The next process is to take it over to the injection press to start feeding it into the press, into the tool to make the parts. Hi DJ, so can you tell me what you do here and about this machine? I'm actually the production manager and these are the wheels for that it actually makes out of this machine. It makes eight at a time out of the mold and it'll feed in from the automatic feeder into our screw and barrel. Can you tell me a little bit more about this machine? Yes, it's a 220 ton machine. It's brand new, it's lab this year actually. What would you say to someone wanting to get into manufacturing? I think it's a good op opportunity to get into. It's, it's a clean environment to work in. It's really hands-on if you like to work with your hands. It's very brain, like you got to work with your brain too. Like some of it, how the pressures work and it's like a really math thing. When I think of manufacturing, I don't think of math and computer skills, but it sounds like you have to have a lot of those. Yes, uh, especially with the new technology, you have to have tons just so you can get your pressures right. You got to add your pressure so everything kind of coincides together and make sure everything works. Otherwise, things 
not good things happen, I guess. Thanks so much, DJ. I think we're gonna head to the next press now. So now I'm here with Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Hi. So earlier, Mary was showing me the knobs. Is this where those are made? Yes, that is correct. This is one of the machines that the knobs are made at. It's a 55 ton millicron. Did you have the skills needed when you got here or was there more training you had once you got here to learn how to use these machines? Oh, more training, definitely. Uh, they showed me what I needed to do every day to be successful and then I can always ask for help. What would you say to an individual that says manufacturing is a dirty job? Uh, false. I would, uh, it, it just depends on the business. There's just a multitude of different businesses out there that deal in manufacturing. If I were someone looking to get into manufacturing, what kind of skills would you say I would need? Of course, I would say great attention to detail. Um, like the knob machine here, you have to look very closely at the knobs on each shot that you do. Um, you have to look at shininess and dullness because it could throw the whole order off um, and you have to ask for help so you don't mitigate that whole order that you've just done. We had a great time here today at Jackson Manufacturing and I felt very welcome. Just another great example of an Iowa manufacturer. To learn more about careers in advanced manufacturing, visit elevateiowa.com.